Amen, that's a good song. Sing that song you're singing for me before. I know you don't know all the words, but sing, give, give us what you got of it. I was standing by my window on one whole while he lay. When I saw that hers come rolling, for he carry my mother away. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Lord, I told that undertaker, undertaker, please drive slow. Yeah. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? There's a better home waiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. There's a better home waiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky. Hello, folks. My name is John. <laughs> I got to talk about this song a minute, Billy Joe. Hang on there. My my dear mother, she loved the Lord. I never remember anything about her other than sitting, reading her Bible when I got up in the morning and got out of bed as, as a child and raising through. And I wasn't saved until I was 29. I was saved for two years. I was saved, I was saved April 4th, 1961. I'm sorry, April 4th, 1969. And uh, my mother died uh, 1971. And she was just 61 years old, but she was dear and wonderful and makes me think of my dear mother. Maybe you had a godly mother. But I'm praying for my two brothers, my older brother Zoltan, my younger brother Philip, my sister Faith, that they heard the same gospel. I didn't get saved when I was 29 to get saved at home. They didn't either. I hope to get saved before they die. So, amen. Will the circle be unbroken? You know, my wife at one time, she came to the wall, man. But one time, there was a car coming down the I know I'm not worthy yes. to call upon your name. All my life I've been a sinner, and for that I am ashamed. But I heard that you would listen, so I'm giving you my plea. I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to you. Would you please come down to me? I know that there are others who could offer more than I. I promise you I'd understand if for me you had no time. I think I've just hit bottom and I'm looking at peace to me. I'm unworthy, Lord, to come to you. Would you please come down to me? I guess I must be reaping from the seed that I have sown. Yeah, we reap what we sow. Lord, you owe me nothing. We haven't spoken for us at all. But if you could spare some mercy, I'll pledge my life to thee. I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to you. Please come down to me. I know there are others who could offer more than I. I promise you I'd understand if for me you had no time. I think I've 
think I'm just hit bottom and I'm looking at PC. I'm unworthy, Lord, to come to you. Could you please come down to me? I'm unworthy. I, I think I'm just hit bottom and I'm looking at PC. I'm too unworthy, Lord, to come to you. Would you please come down to me? Come down to me. Amen. Amen. I appreciate Billy Joel and his singing. He's a blessing. He sings with pathos. If you know what pathos is, that's heart. Sings from the heart. He's a hillbilly. He don't know what pathos is, but he sings with it. Like a ship sailing out on the trip, rough and long. So far from shore, so far from home. I set out in search of a reason to go on. There I found it in the eye of the storm. Eye of the storm. No matter what storm cloud may rock this ship of mine, the light of my Savior will lead me through the night. Though my ship may be rocking and my sails may be torn, I shall rest in the eye of the storm. When the wind and water rages, and the billows begin to roll. The blessed rock of ages speaks peace to my soul. Yes, he does. He holds me in his arms, so safe and so warm. And I find shelter in the eye of the storm. In the storm. No matter what storm clouds may rock the ship of mine. The light of my Savior will lead me through the night. Though my shield may be rocking and my sails may be torn, I shall rest in the eye of the storm. I shall rest in the eye of the storm. Oh, oh, oh. Give him a good hand for that one. Praise God. The eye of the storm. You got a storm today, God's got the answer. Trust in him. Amen. Repent. Amen. Trust in him. Repent. Don't feel calm in the eye of that storm. Just as I am, he came to me. He came to suffer and make me free. Yes, you did. Free from this old world, wherever I will be. Just as I am, he came to me. Well, I like that song. I didn't know Ernest wrote that. He came to suffer. I like it. Shame and agony. He came to die on Calvary. Whoa. All my sins he would pay for as he hung upon that tree. Just as I am, he came to me. Just as I am, he said, come to me, my child. My door may be open just for a little while. So come when I call you, someday this life will flee. Just as I am, he came to me. Just as I am, he came to me. Man, give him a good hand on that song. Billy Joe, why don't you sing that more often? That listen, Billy Joe. That might be the best song Ernest had written. I love it. Why don't you sing it more? I don't know. I just 
Yeah. You better sing it now pretty regular. That's about the best song I've ever heard. Of. Ernest wrote a lot of good songs, but I love that song. This next song I'm going to try to do. Maybe since my wife got sick, she can't write. I call, every time I, I would copy a song now, she would rewrite it for me and space it the way it's supposed to be. This is not. This is the way I wrote it down. So if I get mixed up on it, you'll know it's my fault, not hers. Okay. It's a beautiful song. This journey's too hard Without Jesus Lord, I need your strength Every day To help me through this world filled with trouble, Lord, I need you with me all the way. Sometimes I think I can make it without you. And sometimes I think I don't need you anymore. Once again I fall, you're always there for me. To pick me up and help me through it all. I know my life without you would be hopeless. I can't make it one hour without you. And I thank you, Lord, for being here for me. This journey's too hard to make it through. Sometimes I think I can make it without you And sometimes I think I don't need you anymore Once again I fall You're always there for me To pick me up And help me through it all To pick me up And help me through it all Amen. 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 Who wrote that, Billy Joe? Ernest wrote that too? Why you have his best songs you never sing around here? These last two you sang. I mean, them two were some of his very best. You ain't even played them. Shame on you. You better be playing them more around here. This is about your grandma now? No, no. I don't have it. Grandma, I miss you more and more every day. Wow. And it's just, it's a beautiful song. And, uh, and uh, he's more than a savior and a great king. More than the Lamb of God sent to redeem. More than his willing. To make us free, he's more than a savior, my savior and king. He was so willing to take the place of all who have sinned and face disgrace. If you only trust him and the price he paid. He's more than a savior if you trust him today. You must believe only in him or you'll never reach heaven as you had planned. If you want to be with him, there's only one way. Savior, won't you trust him today? He's more than a Savior, won't you trust him today? Amen. 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 I'll do my, I'll do my private song now. <laughs> the first I heard of the people's claim, old time religion was I said, I'll go down and take a look at that crowd, just to be minded I feel. 
got a hold of me. Praise God. Amen. Joe, we're going to have one more and then I'm going to preach. This will be the last one I'm going to preach. I don't like that one. Do a different one. No, not especially. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. I was coming out of Texas one night and just across the line, across the river there, and going out of Texas into Louisiana. And on this side of on this side of that line, that river, the big casino there, a gambling casino, the lights all around the top. Of yeah. I told my wife, I said, "There's Satan fuel crowns out there." Yeah. yeah. Let me just make a comment before you sing that. We're gonna we're gonna have Satan Jules crown here in Florida too. They're gonna vert, uh, vote on Amendment Three for gambling. And a bunch of idiots and fools and wicked people in Florida will vote it in. I guarantee you they'll vote it in. Because we ain't got no godly people anymore. It used to be a day when you couldn't vote it in. We're going to hell in a handbasket. Liquor, marijuana, okay in marijuana. Where was it? Someone they just... Oh, in, oh, in Canada. Yeah, Canada today or yesterday, they, uh, they, they made marijuana legal and, and that uh, idiot that's there, whatever they call him there... Trudeau, yeah, his daddy was before. Yep. They got it in there. And so everybody going to hell like a handbasket in Satan's jewel crown. But we're going to keep preaching. And I'm going to preach against alcohol. I'm going to preach against gambling. I'm going to preach against marijuana. And I'm going to preach against adultery and fornication and all the rest of it. Satan's jewel crown. Okay, Brother Billy Joe. Queer, queer. Queers too. <laughs> If I were a king and ruler of nations with diamonds and jewels profound, well, I'd rather know I had salvation than to know my reward would be Satan's jewel crown. Satan's jewel crown. I wore it so long. But God for my soul has reached down. His love set me free. He made me his own and had me cast off. Satan's jewel crown. Satan's jewel crown. Lord help us. All the life that I live, so sinful and needless. God help us. Drinking and running. All the things that I do For the love of the devil Love of the devil I know my reward Would be Satan's jewel crown Satan's jewel crown I wore it so long But 
God for my soul has me found. His love set me free. He made me his own and held me cast on. Satan's your crown. And he held me cast on. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Billy Joe. We love Billy Joe. We love his music. Satan's Jewel Crown. Aren't you tired of being Satan's Jewel? Some of you need to get saved today. We've got a big crowd here today. And some of you need to be saved. I know it because you've told me you're not saved. Now you need to stay awake today in church and quit going to sleep. Listen. You're going to die and go to hell. we got people all the time. We got more and more people getting run over by cars out there on Ridgewood Avenue out in front of here, Highway 1. Like Mary. Mary sat right back down there. She sat right about there where you are with the with the nice hat on back there. Yeah, she's sitting right about where you were. She wasn't paying attention in church and she wouldn't talk to me after church, after about her soul salvation and everything. She wouldn't pay no attention. She went down here by the bus turnaround on Mary McLeod Bethune. Got drunk as a skunk. Had beer in a bag. And walked out into the street. and They peeled her up dead from the, from the sidewalk for the... Mary, remember, have, everybody, did any of you know Mary? Some of you knew Mary. She didn't get saved. She mocked God and wouldn't listen when she was sitting back there and wouldn't talk to me about it. Went out and got drunk and, and went off to see her maker. I don't know if she got saved between morning and evening. I don't know. I can't testify that she got, I'd like to have said she got saved that morning, but she didn't. As far as I know, she rejected Christ, got drunk, and went to hell. I don't know. Be quiet, Stephen. I'm preaching. Why you got to run your mouth all the time? Just shut up in church. You talk enough when I ain't preaching. Just be quiet in church, okay? Man, I'm lying. I like talking with you folks. When I get up here in the pulpit, I'm telling things that are important. Shut up. Don't be talking, okay? Got it, Steve? Well, amen. You listen carefully. We're, we're closing out Isaiah 66. The book of the Bible that talks more about the Lord Jesus Christ than any other prophet. Isaiah 66. Glory to God. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord. That's the Bible, thus saith the Lord. Why don't you listen to the Bible? Why don't you pay attention to the Bible? Got all these fun, boy, all these people want to be tagged. I said, okay, Mayor, I'll tag you, my friend, Ray, Ray Johnson. Thanks, man. Got a lot of folks out there on Facebook today, a lot of folks here in church. And I feel good today. I feel like preaching, amen? Amen. Amen. Thus saith the Lord. And the only way you can say, Thus saith the Lord, if you've got a King James Bible. Amen. All you preachers out there that use these funny Bibles and 200 uh, perverted editions that have come out, everyone used to use the author. Does everyone else want to be tagged? Amen. I'll tag you all. <laughs> I don't know nothing about it. Just <laughs> My son in law told me one day, I used to record. My message is that upload them to YouTube and then shoot them out. He's you don't have to do that. He said, all you got to do is go to Facebook, hit live, preach, and hit finish, and it's out there. <laughs> it works, man. I don't know much about Facebook, but there's people wanting to be tagged, and I'm, people listen to me out there, so praise God. <laughs> thus saith the Lord. You can't say, thus saith the Lord, unless you've got a King James Bible. Amen. 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 Not, not the New International. Not the New King James. That's a lie. 5,300 changes. New King James. When they come around, uh, 
Jack Howes and a bunch of other my friend preachers went in, went. Uh, Jack Howes was in his heyday, biggest church in America, and, and they, they they asked him, uh, Thomas Nelson, publishers. They they called all these fundamental preachers together and a bunch of preachers and, and a bunch of them believed his lie but Jack Howells didn't believe his lie and other good preachers didn't either. They looked at it and they looked it over and he says no we reject the New King James Bible. We're sticking with the authorized version, the Texas Receptor. They said it was from the what? It, 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 it ain't from the received text. It's not. The New King James has 5,300 changes. The other guy wants to be tagged. Who's this? Praise God, but we got him out there today. Amen. Thus saith the Lord. Only way you can say that if you've got a King James Bible. Amen. Yes. Yes, I don't agree. I don't care if you agree with me or not. God. Read about yourself in the end of Revelation. Yeah. You add to this book, uh, take away from it, your name will be removed from the book of life. Amen. You know what all the new versions say instead of the book of life? Tree of life. They say your name will be removed from the tree of life. That don't really make no sense, does it? How, 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 you, how are you going to remove your name from the tree of life? It's the book of life. And, and why have they changed it, all these 200 new versions? Why? Because that those new Bibles are of the devil. I heard someone say, someone I respect a lot, told someone else. I didn't like it when I heard it. But someone I respect a lot says, well, some of these other versions... Might be. They ain't okay at all. They come out of hell. Ain't one of them okay. Either you got a Bible or you don't have a Bible. God help you. My name's in the book of life. Amen. I got me a King James Bible. Amen. I ain't going to change the word of God. The heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Who can say that? But God, that's Jesus said that back in the Psalms. Amen. Where is the house that ye build unto me? Where are you going to build a temple? Where are you going to build a church? We saw uh, probably the uh, very high-end Southern Baptist church. Uh, he's dead now. Adrian Rogers. Uh, he took over the Bellevue uh, Baptist Church uh, there in, I forget, big, big beautiful church. He took over that pulpit from, uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, Sinners in the Hands of it. No, that, that's not the one. Uh, ah, can't think of his name. R.G. Lee. R.G. Lee, one of the most famous Southern Baptist preachers. And had that great church there, Bellevue Baptist Church. And Adrian Rogers, to Adrian Rogers dead. And I don't know what happened to it. I ain't heard the next guy that's in there. He used the, he used the King James Bible. Thank God, I'm not. I'm, I won't. I won't recommend one preacher to you if they don't use the King James Bible. I don't care if his name is David Jeremiah. I don't care if his name is Charles Stanley. He's, oh, I'm talking about he don't use the King James Bible anymore. Any old man that throws away the King James Bible, I ain't for him. I'm just telling you. Say, he says some good things. Yeah. Devil says some good things too. Here, someone else wants to be tagged. I tag you too, buddy. Send it here, buddy. You can to hear this one today. A lot of old preachers get up to be my age, old man, dinosaur. I ain't giving up my King James Bible. I'm not giving up old time religion. I'm not giving up preaching against sin. And I hope I can get some young men and some young women and some people that will follow along in the old time religion. Give me the old time religion. Give me the old time religion. Give me the old time religion. It's good enough for me. Amen. Glory. And where is the place of my rest? This is God talking. I <laughs> love it. For all these things hath mine hand made. Who did, who did God use in the creation? Lord Jesus Christ. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Then in John chapter 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, that's Jesus. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. Not like Jehovah's Witnesses to say that, 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 uh, that the Word was a God. Don't you follow those Jehovah false witnesses. By the way, we're going to go out and walk side by side with them this coming Saturday. 
I'm having 16 people come from another church and all of you that want to come from our church and go out soul winning door to door, you, you report here next Saturday morning, the 20th, I'm going to be here at 10 o'clock. We go out soul winning. You say, I don't know how. We put someone with you knows how and he goes soul winning. Yeah. Yeah, amen. Amen. For all these things hath he made, uh, hath mine hand made. And all these things have been said, saith the Lord. But to this man will I look, even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit. That's what you got to come. You got to come to God humble, like Jesus was. Jesus was a humble servant. Amen. Amen. You can see this couple up here in front. There. God bless them. How long ago? How long have I seen you guys go? Huh? Two years. But fourteen months ago they got married. Is that right? And he come back this morning and said, had to come see you, preacher. I'm so glad to come back and, and they're married. God bless them. That's what you ought to do, all you shacker uppers. We got shacker uppers that are here right now. I'm looking at some of them. You shack up and live like the dirty devil. Call yourself a Christian. Shame on you. Dave and Lisa used to hear me preach like this, and they got married about 10 years ago. These folks 14 months ago. Some of you other shacker uppers need it too. You think you live like a you think you live like the devil, and uh, uh, share the same bed when you're not married? God help you. Say you saved. If you're saved, start living like you're saved, or get saved today, man. Even to him that is poor and of a contrite spirit, and tremble at that. I tremble at the word of God. I fear God. The word of God is quick and powerful. Cut it like a two-edged sword. There ain't a day goes by. That I don't read this Bible and it don't chop on me and cut on me. It gets me every day of my life. I read it a lot. I get up in the morning. I met God in the morning when my day was at its best. And his presence came like sunrise, like a glory in my breast. All day long his presence lingered. All day long he stayed with me. Uh, he stayed with me, and we sailed with perfect calmness o'er a very troubled sea. Other ships were blown and battered. Other ships were sore distressed. But the winds that seemed to drive them brought to me a peace and rest. Then I thought of other mornings with a keen remorse of mine when I too had left the moorings with the presence left behind. So I think I know the secret learned from many a troubled way. You must meet God in the morning. If you want him through. That's why I had to get up real early this morning. And get in the Bible. So I could be a blessing to you folks in church. So I could be a blessing to you folks out in Facebook. I met God in the morning. And fellowship with him. Praise God. Because I tremble at, at his word. I tremble at the word of God. The fear of God is the beginning of you folks that are shaking your fist. At, I'm going to drink my liquor. I'm going to smoke my cigarettes God. I'm going to shack up. I'm going to do this. Shame on you. Humble yourself. Get a contrite spirit and tremble at his word. He that killeth an ox is as if he slew a man. He that sacrificeth the lamb as he that cut up off a dog's neck. Sometimes the Bible gets pretty graphic, doesn't it? <laughs> cut off a dog's neck. That ain't politically correct, I don't think. You know what trouble is with today? A lot of folks love dogs more than they do people. They're saving dogs and killing babies. What do you mean they're killing babies? Abortion? There's a movie just come out. It's shocking. And there's a lot of people watching it. I hate Hollywood. I don't go to Hollywood movies. I won't go to a Hollywood movie and see it. <clears throat> and they got all kinds of these so-called Christians. Some of them are pretty good. This is in the Hollywood movie thing, I guess. But it's a Christian movie. It's about abortion. And it tells you all the horrors of, of abortion. And I mean, it's, it's, I mean, not much of the mainstream mood. Somebody said it. I believe she's a Christian girl. This one, this one woman on Fox, uh, I'm trying to think of her name. She's on 7 o'clock. Uh, she had the, she had the, uh, the purpose that made the movie. And it's, it's not being advertised. And, and, and some of you backsliders or worldly people that go to the movie show, I guess I ain't going to go to the movie show and see. But they say it really gets goods on abortion. And, and, and it, it, gives a, it gives a background of Planned Parenthood. Uh, you know who the mother of Planned Parenthood was? 
Margaret Sanger. Do you know what Margaret Sanger's goal was? Her goal was to annihilate and get rid of completely black folks. How many black folks we got in here today? A few black folks in here. About one, two, three, four, five, six, about ten black folks. That's all right. Margaret Sanger and Planned Parenthood want to wipe you off. They didn't want you to be born. Margaret Sanger didn't. <clears throat> Read her book. Look on iBooks. It's a free book. Look on that book. I send it out to people. They say, oh, no. By, by the way, Margaret Sanger uh, is, the, is the hero of the progressives. These progressive political people you have today, their hero is Margaret Sanger. And she was a mother of Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood's, uh, uh, but but their initial goal. And she, I, I read it. I read from a chapter from hers right now, about about abortion and uh, 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 how how you why you got to get rid of certain folks. You got to get rid of them black folks because they're stupid, they're ignorant. I mean that's what I ain't saying that. I love black folks. I love red. Jesus loves the little children every. All the children of the world, red and yellow, black. Ain't none. Of, ain't nobody in here better than anybody else. Your intelligence is what it is. It don't matter if you're black, white, purple, and orange, or anything. Even folks got hair like Sharon over here. She told me it was her hair color. It's some kind of orange, purple looking thing. She lied to me this morning. Oh, you got ashamed of your hair? You put that rag over it now? Oh, God. <laughs> That's what, every time I see these women today, I'll come up to someone, they got some way out there crazy hair, and I look at them like this, I say, ma'am, is that your natural color? <laughs> Don't want to ask you this morning, did I say? <laughs> God help us. <laughs> it used to be that a hairdresser uh, used to get your hair so close you couldn't even tell you the color in your hair. Now people, they got every weird color you can see. Look at her hair, oh my God. Put that rag back on your head. <laughs> Verse 4, I also will choose their delusions and will bring their fears upon them. Because when I called, none did answer. God's called upon you, you won't answer. You love your sin, you love your sex, you love your dope. <coughs> They're okay in marijuana, they're okay in drugs. It won't be long. In America, like they do in some of these Scandinavian uh, countries, whorehouses will be legal. I guess they got whorehouses legal in Nevada, don't they, near uh, near uh, Las Vegas? Las Vegas and Reno, I think. Yeah, yeah, Las Vegas. They got whorehouses right there. They had this, who was this basketball player that had to do something with this, this celebrity TV, Kardashians or something? They got some sex pervert basketball player. Uh, 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 he overdosed on drugs in a whorehouse. Am I telling the truth or not? Yeah, and they make a hero out of him. You're nothing but a sex pervert. I don't care if you can take a basketball and dunk it or not. Oh, that ain't nothing. Pervert. God help us. And we watch that on television, and they're big money people. God, this nation is going to hell in the handbasket. When I speak, they did not hear. Listen up. But they did evil before mine eyes. And you want to do evil before God's eyes? You want to live like a pervert and, and be a drunk and a wicked liar and everything like that uh, before God's eyes? You're going to... I'm glad Isaiah finished. Wait till I get to the last verse in Isaiah 66 when it closes. Whew. Wow. You chose that which I delighted not in. God doesn't delight in your sin. Verse 5, hear the word of the Lord, ye that trembleth at his word. I tremble. I tremble at God's word. I'm afraid of God's word. Thus saith the Lord, and I believe it. You better believe it, Gary. You better believe it, Charlie. <clears throat> Who's on the front row here sleeping? Poke him, David, Stephen. Wake up, man. Wake up. We, we only allow folks to sleep when we're eating. You can sleep while we're eating here, but stay awake while I'm preaching, okay? Hear the word of the Lord, ye that trembleth at his word, your brethren that hated you, that cast you out for my name's sake, said, Let the Lord be glorified, but he shall appear 
uh, to your joy, and they shall be ashamed. And some folk call me, I'm going to be, I, when he appears, I'm going to be glad. I'm going to see him. I'm going to go up to heaven at the rapture. You folks that are left, a bunch of us get out of here. If they go, we go out of here today, you look around, you won't even know it. Because the Bible says God will show you, send you strong delusion. You won't even know you're in the, in the tribulation. We're going to be raptured. You're going to, John, you're going to say, oh, well, then they're going to say some, they'll say some crazy stuff on the fake news. We got a lot of fake news, you know. Mm -hmm. And they'll tell you some stuff on the fake news, and you won't even understand why people went. And you'll be in seven years. The first three and a half years will be bad, and the second three and a half years will be terrible. Mm -hmm. The tribulation. We're going to be at the marriage supper at the Lamb, eating for seven years. Amen. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Verse 7, before she travailed, she brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered of a man-child. Oh, glory to God. Isaiah 54, 1 affirms that also. Verse 8, who hath heard such things? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? Uh, for, as soon, uh, for as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth children, travailed, cried. When you and I, Zion, that's the people of God, that's the church of God. When we travail and we weep and cry, uh, then we bring forth children. We get people saved. That's what it means. We should travail like we're going Saturday for soul winning. Come and be part of it, church. He that win his souls is wise. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. He that win his souls is wise. Shall I bring to the birth and not cause to bring forth saith the Lord verse 9 shall I cause uh, shall I cause to bring forth and shut the womb saith thy God verse 10 rejoice ye with Jerusalem and be glad with her all of you all of you that love her rejoice for joy with her all ye that mourn for her that ye may that ye may suck and be satisfied with the breasts of her consolations that ye may milk out and be delighted with the abundance of her glory, God's church. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will extend peace to her like a river. Peace like a river. We made a song about that. And the glory of the Gentiles like a flowing stream. Then shall ye suck, and ye shall uh, born upon uh, her sides, and be uh, uh, dangled upon her knees, as one of whom his mother comforted, so will I comfort you, amen, and ye shall be comforted in Jerusalem, God's church, God's people. And when you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bones shall flourish like the herb, and the hand of the Lord shall be known toward his servants, and his indignation toward his enemies. You see, the servants are to save people. The enemies are, are, are the devil's people. Are there more servants of God, or are there more saved people, or lost people? There's so many more lost people than there are saved. The majority of people in Daytona Beach and in Florida and in America and in the world are lost in going to hell. By choice. If you're lost in going to hell, you're sitting here today, that's on your choice. That ain't on God. God's not willing any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You rebel against God, you won't fear God, you'll die and go to hell one day. Mark my words. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, hell fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. See, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Many more going to hell than heaven. I'm going to heaven. I don't know about you. What about it? You going to heaven, you say? Or are you still in your sin? Are you still in your wickedness? They that sanctify themselves. What do you mean to say? set yourself apart? Are you part of the world or part of God's family? You're going to go out here and smoke marijuana and drink beer and shack up and lie and steal and live like the dirty devil? <laughs> You're going to hell. Pur purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the midst eating swine's flesh. My God, I like swine's flesh. <laughs> I like pork chops. God forgive me. I like pork chops. It's part of my worldliness, I guess. How many of y'all like pork chops? <laughs> pork chops. God help us. Love and swine's flesh. 
shall be consumed together, saith the Lord. For I know that I know Jack Patterson likes pork chops. He's out there, Jack. He likes pork chops. It shall come that I will gather all nations and tongues, and they shall come and see my glory. Every knee shall bow before the Lord Jesus Christ, and every name shall confess. Some will go to heaven like me and like some of you, but most are going to hell because it'd be too late when they bow. They say, I know your Savior. And they'll say, well, too bad you waited so long to acknowledge it. Go on to hell. That'd be at the great white throne judgment, you understand. Yeah? 20th chapter, book of Revelation. And I will set a sign among them, and I will send those that escape of them on the nations to Tarshish, pull and Lud, and draw the bow to Tubal and Javon to the isles afar off that have not heard they have not heard my fame neither have my glory and they shall declare my glory among the Gentiles and they shall bring all your brethren uh, for an offering unto the Lord out of all nations upon horses and in chariots and in litters and upon mules upon swift beasts to my holy mountain Jerusalem saith the Lord as the children of Israel bring an offering in a clean vessel unto the house of the Lord, and I will also take them for priests and for Levites, uh, saith the Lord. And as for the new heavens and the new earth, that's going to be new heaven and new earth. It's going to be right here. I see, sweetheart. I'm going to finish up right now. My wife's giving me the <laughs> flick the light deal. New heaven and new earth. This is going to be all burned over. There ain't going to be no more Atlantic Ocean. It's going to be burned. It's gone. And in the New Jerusalem, being prepared, read 20, 21 Revelation. I can't read it now. I'll read it later. Coming down from heaven, it's going to come right here on earth. We're going to have heaven on earth right here. That's what it says. As the new heavens and the new earth, there are going to be new, new heavens out there, two different stars and moons and all that, which I will make, God will make new heaven, new earth, shall remain before me, saith the Lord. So shall your seed and your name remain, we that are saved. And it shall come to pass, that uh, from one new moon to another and from one Sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. Amen. What a day that'll be. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed, uh, um, transgressed against me. For their worm, look at here, for their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched. You know what that is? Hell fire. Where the worm drieth not and the fire is not quenched. Jesus said it over and over in the Gospels. That's where you're going, lost ones. You that are unsaved here in church today. And you that are unsaved out there in, in Facebook. Where the worm shall not die, neither shall the fire be quenched. And they shall be adhorring unto all flesh. Lost people stink and they're rotten. Their sin is. God loves everybody. But you want to waller in your sin and live a life of debauchery and drunkenness and and uh, against God and you won't repent? I guarantee you, they'll be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Yeah, that's it. We're done. What's your choice? Isaiah's closed out. You know what we start to Maya? Jeremiah. You know who Jeremiah was called? The weeping. I like great. We go through the Bible chapter by chapter. 14 minutes a day you can get through the whole Bible uh, in a year. 14 minutes a day. Just takes 80 hours. 14 minutes a day you get through the whole thing. Finish Jeremiah today. And we finish Isaiah today. The one that tells more about Jesus Christ than any other prophet, any other book in the Bible. Isaiah. 53rd chapter. We preached on this last Sunday. We're going into Jeremiah. But I hope you take this 6 to 6 verse, the chapter to hit the heart as we close. Let us pray. Lord, thank you now. What a wonderful Savior. Dear Jesus. Tells here about the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. Oh, glory. Glory to God. I'm glad I'm part of it. I'm glad I'm part of the few. Most people are part of the the large majority, the weeping, the wailing, the gnashing of teeth, the fires of hell. Is God speaking to your heart today? Do you have godly sorrow that will bring you to repentance? 
You must have godly sorrow to bring you to repentance and call upon the Lord. Is God speaking to your heart? I'm born again, April 4th, 1969. How many of our heads are bowed, eyes are closed, no one's looking around? You know you're saved here in the church today. Raise your hand if you're sure you're born again and you're going to heaven. Let me see your hands. About half of you, you may put them down. The other half, you, you better get saved. You're going to burn in hell. Is God speaking to you? Repent. Godly sorrow, repent. Unto salvation. Lord, be merciful to your sinner and save me. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. But you haven't done that, you're going to split hell wide open. You say, I need to be saved. Well, let's pray the sinner's prayer then. God's working in your heart. I can tell you only Jesus can save you, but you have to accept it. Call upon him right now. Pray this prayer with me. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me. You shed your precious blood on Calvary's cross. Rose from the grave the third day. The best I know how, with an honest heart, I turn from my sins, receive you as my Savior. Thank you for saving me right now. Amen. Our heads are bowed, our eyes are closed. How many of you in church here today, you said, I really asked Jesus to save me today, and I was serious. I meant it in my heart. Godly repentance. I meant it, and I prayed it today. Would you slip your hand up? Let me see your hands. Raise it up high. Let me see your hands. Yes. 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 God bless everyone. Here. Lord, there have been a number of people in the auditorium today that have trusted Christ. God bless them. If any man or woman be in Christ, they are a new creature, new creation in Christ Jesus. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Thank you for it, dear Lord. Bless us. I pray that be those that have trusted Christ out there in Facebook. Glory to God. Hallelujah, what a Savior. Glory. Praise God. Believe you've worked in hearts today. Believe you've worked in hearts. Thank you. Lord, you're still in the soul-saving business. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.